And welcome back to tonight's MLB pregame show as we ramp up to the first pitch this evening. Should be a good one. And as we prepare you for it, we present our tops player spotlight. The dude, Gerald, has people around the game buzzing. He took home the AL Cy Young Award last year, and we can see him there receiving the award from his manager just a few moments ago. Well, the secret's out on this guy, d -Row. He is not only lights out. This guy can get it done. Pitches deep into games. He can eat up innings, and more importantly, his stuff is elite. I agree, Dan. He shut down the league all season long. I'm interested to see if he builds on last year's Cy Young award-winning season and gets off to another hot start. All right. Lineups and first pitch are coming up next. Stay tuned for that right here on the show. We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Chicago White Sox. Stay tuned. White Sox baseball is next. The dude, Gerald, will get the starting assignment in this one for the Shy Sox. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be a lot of fun. This guy won the Cy Young Award last year in the AL, so he knows how to pitch. And one of the things he does effectively, he attacks the strike zone. And if he does that, he should be fun to watch in this one. At the plate, Riley Shaw. He'll get us started in this Leading one under the lights. Arizona, the shortstop, Riley Shaw. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey. Laid off the bender there, but it's in for a called strike. And guys, you take a look at the White Sox entering play here tonight. They come in in a bit of a rough patch. They've dropped four in a row. First pitch, 7-10. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And we got no one here. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Seth, Seth Beer batting just a notch below 300 Seth. so far on the season. Beer. First pitch of the at bat. Yanked on the ground down the line. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Gerald is currently the leading vote getter among starting pitchers in the league and quite deservedly so. Yeah, Maddie, not surprised this guy is on the top of the All Star game voting, but you have to take a step now. back. This is being voted on by the fans, so I can't imagine how he feels to be voted in by his fans to start in the All-Star game right now. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Come on, guys. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. Batting third. The third Digging in next will be Chris Rich. Bryant. Bryant. And it's grounded just foul down the line. He'll enter play with a good chance to get over 300. He's at 298. Four home runs and 22 RBIs. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. A swinging no strike, and now strike. it's 0-2. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Ricky Holiday. 
Yeah, Dan, we got Ricky Holiday behind the dish tonight. I can't figure his zone hey, out. He in, doesn't favor the hitter or the pitcher and can be a little too inconsistent at times. Dero, you hit the nail right on the head. I think one of the things we're looking for. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Settling in now, Jose Ramirez. He's assuming the role of DH in this interleague matchup. Yeah, Matt, that's one of the funny things about National League teams playing in AL ballparks. All of a sudden, the lineup kind of changes dramatically. But the cool thing is it gets more guys a chance to get some at-bats or time in the field. The pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing in two. Hey, he finds himself down 0 2 with the quickness. I know he's a great two strike hitter, but this at bat, he's going to have to find a way to nickel and dime and get this thing back to even. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Michael Conforto. So now to the plate, Michael Conforto. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Oh, and one count and the pitch. And all that gets him on the mound. Thankfully, he's able to recover and he gets the second out at first. Stepping in, Christian Walker. He went deep in the contest last night. Christian Walker. First pitch coming, here it is. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. Ball. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Hey, two away now. Let's go, boys, let's go. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Diamondbacks down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Into the box, Leonard Berry. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Leonard Berry. Hey, get him at one here. Here comes the first pitch. 
and that's by him. It's 0 and 1. And now pitch on the way. Swing and a no miss, and he's in control. 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Line to the right side. And the Diamondbacks two, two, have their two. first hit of the game. Check that out right there. I love me some of that. Staying inside the baseball, moving it the other way. Sometimes a pitcher can execute his pitch, but it doesn't mean the batter can't grab a knock. All right, knock it down. It. The center fielder, Corbin Carroll. To the plate now, Corbin Carroll. Nope. A ball and no strikes. Ball one, no strikes. Hey, no outs here. The 1 0. A swing and a ground ball to third. To second for one. On to first to complete the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. Hey, and set to go is the, the second, second baseman, baseman, Josh Rojas. Rojas. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Checks yeah. his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. one. Rojas is often heralded for his defensive capabilities patrolling the outfield. So much, in fact, it's not uncommon to hear the word elite when used in talking about his skill set. So I guess it goes without saying that his pitcher teammates always appreciate having him out there behind them. Aye. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Oh, count. Lifted the other way out to left center. You got it, you got it. Martinez is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Nothing doing for Arizona. Home half of the third coming up. No score. New inning set to get underway. And stepping up is the shortstop, Riley Shaw. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. One and one to the D-backs leadoff man. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Hey, here we go. And now pitch on the way. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Wow, this guy's mowing right through this lineup right now. But that's what happens when you don't get a chance to see a pitcher very often. That's one of the things that are helpful when you're pitching in interleague games. It's always a good advantage for the pitcher because the now hitters that. don't get to see that guy very you. often. Seth. Here. Into the box now, Seth Beer. As he'll watch a knuckleball that dances its way in there for strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0 and 2. That's a ball. Wastes a pitch on the knuckle curve there, one, one and two. two strikes, the count. Wow, I want that one if I'm on the bump. But let's be real, I want all the close ones. Straight up. Now straight that's up. popped up. Moncada in foul ground. 
and no one will track it down. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Boy, it's been a rough go through these middle innings so far. This offense right now really doesn't have an answer for anything that he's thrown. He's attacking up, down, in, and out in the strike zone. He's been awfully dominant up to this point. Now batter. Here's Chris first Bryant base. now. Chris. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So 1 2 3 go the Diamondbacks. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Here we go, guys. Now in the Let's box, go. Jose Ramirez looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Ramirez playing here in his age 31 season. This is his 12th season in the big league, so he's put together a really nice career to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hit down the line at first. Hey, we got no outs. Now the pitch. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next, the left-handed hitting Michael Conforto. Conforto. Here's the circle change and a dandy that time as he jumps ahead with strike one. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here, as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And you can see that he's had it working here in the first two months of the year, currently leading the AL in that category. Coming to the plate now, Christian Walker. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Got two, two down. First pitch of the at bat. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here 0 and 1. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. 0 1 count, here's the pitch. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. Hey, and the beat goes on. That's number eight. Hey, get on with your best stuff right here. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Ball, oh, that's low. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0-2 count. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Diamondbacks down in order. They're down one nothing. Into the box now, Leonard Berry. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely Aye. overmatched to this point. One hit through five Only innings. One. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. No ball. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0-2. And, Good job of Damn. holding up on the low ball there, and it's 1-2. and two. And he struck him out. 
And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. He's just ringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. Now batting. The Standing in now, Corbin, Corbin. Carroll. Carroll. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Come on now, here we go, guys. Barely able to make contact, down 0 and 2 now. No runs, just one hit. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Oh, you, 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 you. And quickly, two are gone now here in the visitors' half of the sixth. Stepping up now, Josh oh, no, Rojas. No, no, no. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch on Rojas. its way. Nope, that's down. No runs, just one hit. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Okay, now we got two. That's by him one for ball, strike one. one. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. And the throw pulls him off the base and the inning's going to continue. Man, there's just no excuse for a middle infielder to make a play like that. Especially your shortstop. Looked like a routine play, but for some reason, he just pulled the first baseman off the bag. It happens, but you never want to give a team extra outs. Riley Shaw is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. And he takes a cold strike one. The 1-1 one, one home is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Two strike. Hey, get a strike down for us right now, baby. Let's go. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ballgame, and that'll end the inning. One left for the Diamondbacks. They still trail 1-0. Ready once again, Seth Beer. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. And they go right after him here as he swings and misses. Strike two. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Grounder down the line at third, but a foul ball, and the count holds at 0-2. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out, and we're only in the second game of this series. Now batter, third baseman. Stepping in now, Chris Run. Bryant. As it's grounded sharply to first. And out at first as he almost beat him to the bag that time, but the foot just beats the runner for route number two. Stepping into the box, Jose Ramirez. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Here comes the first pitch. And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have, 0 and 1. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. 
If you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game, you've got to get that pitch right there. 0-2, he's almost certainly out. 1-1, he's got a chance to really do some damage. Here it comes. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that hey, he's picking up right spin here. on this pitcher's off-speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. And he's going to add to the total. 14 punch outs now as that ends Ladies the inning. Gentlemen. So we one, two, three go to Diamondbacks. They trail trip. this one one to nothing. Digging in to try it again. Michael Conforto. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Circle change there. Called strike one. A bouncer to the left side. And this is going to find its way into left for a base hit. And the leadoff man's aboard to start the eighth. Cutting it close here, but he comes through in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he was staring at his last at bat right there. Probably his last at bat. Would have been tough to get him another A-B in this one, but he's able to get it done. Hey, better late than never. And I'm sure when he walked into that batter's box right there, he's thinking, this very well could be my last A-B of this game. So if I'm going to keep this streak alive, going to have to do it right now. Fouled off. Hey, looking back, go one now. Got him, and he goes down on strikes for the third time. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone down on strikes in this one. So they've really figured out how to attack this guy. Now batting, catcher Leonard Barry. Yeah, we got one. Hey, force some one here. Into the box, Leonard Berry. As he Aye. takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. And it's quickly 0-2. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. And another foul ball. Now another 0-2. Struck him out. Strikeout number 16 thus far as he's had a whale of a ball game. Now after back-to-back -back strikeouts, he's got a real good chance of making that leadoff double pretty much meaningless he's made some good pitches and these hitters have really failed driving him in or at least getting him over now batting the center fielder so now to the plate Corbin Carroll as he swings and lifts it in the air out to left field Martinez is there to make the catch and they'll get out of this with the lead intact so no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The White Sox lead it one to nothing. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Josh Rojas. Josh Rojas. Get ahead of him right here. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. Not surprisingly, here this is on the ground to the right side. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. 
Back to the top spot in the Arizona now lineup back. now and stepping in, Riley Shaw. Three at-bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. Cold strike one on the circle change. Good pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Scooped up. On to first, and they're an out away. Two gone here in the ninth. Ready now, Seth Beer. He's their last shot here with two away in the now ninth that, as they look to the avoid the shutout. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Ball one. And even though he's had some success against this guy in the ball game, he still knows he's a very dangerous hey, opponent. Now, he won't away. want to fall behind him any further. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is going to get foul. The 1 1. Eight, two. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. And this crowd wasn't all that big, but they've stuck around to the final out. Arizona, good night. Wow, talk about total dominance. Nine innings, only two hits allowed. That's about as good as it gets. This guy was as good in the ninth inning as he was in the first. So close to baseball history. And tonight's ends is a 3-0 shutout win. The Chicago White Sox took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. The dude, Gerald, earns his eighth victory of the season and mark him down for 17 strikeouts to boot. Zach Gallen is settled with a loss after giving up only one earn. So that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRoe.